Hi, y'all. Um, today or tonight, I am making um a little organization style video for you ladies. Um, I got some new stamps today, and my previous video was showing um my new haul with the uh. Uh, stamps that I purchased and also the polishes and I did state that I was going to show you guys how to um, put a backing on these sharp sharp plates um, and it looks something like this this is a really really fluorescent green it doesn't show up on the camera that bright which is good because I was scared that it was gonna take away from the lighting but Yep, I put pretty much I pretty much put a backing on it. it. Makes it a little safer to hold and grab. Um, these are so sharp. Like if I'm pressing my finger on it, you can see like an indent. And these are really bad. So I will be showing you guys how to do that. I will be needing, or you will be needing, some double-sided uh, tape. I picked three of these up for like five bucks at Walmart so it's a three pack and it comes in handy so I actually was very happy with my purchase you will need some index cards you can use the plain whites whatever you like or something of cardboard consistency I've had these for a couple years so okay and pretty much what I did was I took an index card and cut it in half and I will be adhering some tape the way I was doing it was putting tape on the paper and then adhering the um, plate on there so I'll be doing that right now so you can put it on the plate if you prefer or you can measure it out and cut it out first and then adhere it to the circle or to the backing itself but I don't know, I was doing it this way today. It seems to work for me. So whatever works for you. So you take double-sided tape. You can either, like I said, adhere it to the back of the plate. Let's use, not these, the back, the back of the plate. Or you can adhere it to the card itself. Or you can pre-cut it and adhere it there. Whatever floats your boat. This is just so if my daughter is going to handle them and I'm going to handle them, we don't like have any bleeding with nail art. We don't like blood with our nail art. See, I made a boo boo already. Okay, that's just about right. Okay, so then I have the tape on the card itself, and I will be just taking the plate and putting it on the card and pressing down on it so it adheres I'm just going to take my scissors and cut around it this seemed like the easier alternative have to do 10 plates like I'd be I'd be kind of tired if I had to do the 30 plates that I was planning on buying from this brand um, again I don't remember the brand of these but most of our stamper people folks know about the cheap brands so there you have it you have a nice little backing you can touch it up I didn't do a very good cut on this one but that's it. It's very safe. Now don't forget to remove the film from it before you do so. And please don't cut yourself. I almost lost a finger the first time I tried this. See how bad this is? There you go. These are a little tough so you gotta be very careful. There you go. So then you can use your plate or you can put a backing on it or you can buy mash or conad plates which seem to have backing. I'm sure there's other nicer brands that have the backing. But anyway, that is how you can put a quick backing on your 
uh, plates and be safe about it. See, I can do this and not feel so I'm scared to do so. <laughs> All right. I also wanted to show you guys where I would be storing my um, plates. I purchased um, these trading card pages from Walmart as well. These were like three fifty or three forty. And I also got a nice binder from them. It's just a binder. And that was a dollar. I didn't even have to go to the dollar store. So you place the card holders there and then you can place all your um, plates in there. They fit perfectly in there. And you just slide them right out. Put your finger in and you slide them right out. It's beautiful. Because I knew I'd get tired of my little box, so I figured let me store them where I can see them and show them off. I also wanted to show you guys, um, I purchased a big old box, kind of similar to my, um, kind of similar to this box where I store my mash plates at, which are going in the binder um, after this video. But I, I just stored all my polishes there because I don't have that many polishes where I need like shelving, like some of my friends, <clears throat> Charlotte. <laughs> um, and you know kind of jealous but I decided to color code my bottles and I'll just pick up a couple bottles to show you guys and I ended up buying these all-purpose labels um, again for a dollar at Walmart so some things you can't always find at the dollar store but if you can find these at the dollar store that's great um, these are just white all-purpose labels. I was looking for like little circles, but that was a no-go. Okay, so what I did was, actually let me show you guys. I'll try, I'll try to be quick. You know how quick I am. So you pretty much just take these, and most of my polishes are gel, and those are the ones that I decided to color code, but I'll do it with regular polish. And this is what I did. I pretty much just made little dots of whatever color polish I have. And I cured them under the UV or LED lamp. And I actually put a little bit of top coat and cleaned, you know, cured it and then um, cleaned it off with a little alcohol, making sure that I did not wet the paper. And I ended up making little dots of color so while they're in a drawer or while they're in a box I can just look at the color and pick it up this is uh, my slate from IBD Just Gel and you can also see the color I also got some sensational mauve maven so that's pretty much what I did so if you have them in a drawer this is how you'd see them isn't that cool? I don't know. I was bored. I was trying to get organized. <laughs> but we all know we don't get that organized. I wish. So anyway, that is just my little ideas on how to get organized and be safe with the plates and all that stuff. I hope you guys like this video, and I'm sorry if it's lengthy. You guys have a great day. Bye.